Hi everybody, Shane Armand Rowe here. Sabrent, a trusted name in technology, has just released a six port dock for the Steam Deck. This one actually promises a USB-C port as well. Will it show video out? Can you use it for anything super productive? Is this dock right for you? All this and more are coming up, so stick around. Okay, so I bought this directly from Sabrent. This is not a compensated endorsement. I paid full price, which was $30 at the time of purchase. And uh, it looks pretty snazzy. I mean, I've used a lot of Sabrent devices in the past. I could probably throw a pen right now and hit three or four of them right from where I'm standing. Uh, I trust the brand, and so I was very excited to see what sort of dock that they could provide that maybe had features that other docks didn't. So unboxing it, we have the dock itself. Of course, there's no power in here. Um, just a couple of manuals. And, uh, well, maybe not a manual. Uh, let's see. So extend your warranty to two years. Okay, that's kind of cool. Two-year warranty for registering your item. All right. And the Sabrent manual, of course, just has bare bones basic. I don't think you're going to see a lot exciting in here. Okay, well, let's take a look at the device itself. First off, it's got uh, nice little pads here on the back and on the bottom. They have little protective tape that need to be pulled off. I know there are many people that just love this ah, peel feel. Um, this other one was a little harder to get to at the bottom. I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to struggle a little bit on this one. Okay, let's peel that one off. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, this is kind of nice. The build quality feels pretty good. I like the pads. There's pads both on the bottom and on the back side here. Nothing on the front. We have on the side here two USB-A 3.0 port. And on this side, we have another USB 3.0 port. USB-A and a power light right there on the side. On the back, we have a lot of space. We have our PD power in, a USB-C plug, and an HDMI, uh, standard HDMI uh, 2.0. And of course, the plug that plugs into the unit. This plug is sort of weirdly oriented. It's almost like it's been bent. I imagine it'll probably get into play once we start plugging everything in. So here's how the Steam Deck fits in it. Nice and tight. It is snug. It feels a lot like the official dock. There's no clearances. Everything is nice and tight. Um, no spaces, no wiggling. Everything looks nice and tight. The vents are blocked just a little tiny bit. I don't think it'll matter but it's worth noting that it does indeed block them just a little bit. You might have to offset it a little bit if you have some temperature problems, but hard to say. Okay, so let's plug this guy in. It does fit, but it's, it's nice and long though. It's not too tight. I like that. It just feels weird. It just kind of feels pre-kinked or something. I don't know, but I imagine it will probably warm up over time. All in all, a nice looking dock. Okay, so let's put this guy into our workstation here. We'll plug in standard power our HDMI, of course. There's our power light. That power light might bother some people. Most people don't like a blasting blue light. Fortunately, it's pointed to the side, not to the front. Okay, so now we're ready to just tuck our uh, deck right in here. And again, she fits real nice. And again, I have to kind of turn this thing a little bit to plug it in, it seems weird. Okay, well, looks like every other dock Next up, let's take a little power reading on this with my power meter. If you haven't seen that video on USB-C power meter, I'll give you a link up in the upper right corner. There we go. So right now it's, uh, it's going and redirecting its video up to the top here, so things are kind of shifting around. Okay, and so right now it looks like we're drawing about 12 watts. This is all kind of what we expect to see. The unit is off. The battery is probably fully charged already too. So that'll be something that we'll have to test in a moment as well. But everything looks okay from a power perspective. Now here's good news. The HDMI can be powered from the dock. So instead of having to carry in more uh, power for your USB-C monitor, the USB-C port on the dock will power your external monitor. That's actually pretty good news. There is something good about that. How about that? Okay, so this monitor is USB-C capable which means with the right device, I can plug a USB-C device in and have the video parsed through USB and it'll appear on the monitor. Uh, unfortunately, it does not appear that this works. Uh, that's too bad, actually. 
Um, maybe I just need more power. Maybe I need extra power. So I'll go ahead and plug in my regular power source to this and see if power plus the USB-C input would work. Uh, this, by the way, this monitor does work on with the uh, switch. It just doesn't work in this stock configuration, which is too bad. Again, if you came here just for this, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. All right, let's go do some other stuff here. Now that the, uh, the battery's drained down a little bit, let's check out what the power draw is to charge and play at the same time. So depending, you know, we're gonna need to see somewhere in the 30s, right? Um, the battery doesn't require a ton of charge and I am playing, uh, well, I'm playing Hogwarts down here and um, it looks like it's pulling in the 30s. I got no warning of slow charging. Uh, this time around, so I think everything looks good in that department. We are um, getting the power we need to the Steam Deck from this dock. All right, so what about using a USB-C to HDMI adapter? I haven't given up on it yet, folks. I know you want to see it. We're going to try it, and we're going to see if it works. I just wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hold your breath here. So let's go ahead and plug this USB-C to HDMI. And I'm afraid we came up with buckets. No go there. So that USB-C port is not going to grant you another monitor or replacing the HDMI out. Too bad. All right, so what can we use the USB-C port for? Well, we could plug in an external drive. Let's make sure that comes up. Yep, there it is. It just popped up. So yeah, we can use the USB-C port for an external drive. That works out well. All right, so let's take a look here. This is the official Steam Deck dock versus the Sabrin dock. As you can see, the size is a, it's a lot bigger, probably from the configuration of those USB ports on the side. Very, very busy in the back of the official Steam Deck dock. Not so much of busyness on the back of the Sabrin dock. In some configurations, that might be useful. Obviously, what we're missing here is display port and the Ethernet port. Losing the Ethernet port is a big deal to me. Um, but we do get the extra USB-C port. So as for almost every other dock that I've reviewed, there's probably a use case for this one in particular. Of course, you can plug in a USB 3.0 uh, hub on top of this or a USB to Ethernet adapter, and you could probably go ahead and uh, regain the Ethernet functionality if that's not something you need today. But overall, I mean, it's bigger but it doesn't offer quite as many features. I find that interesting. Okay, now of course we need to do our 4K test. So I've plugged it in to uh, my 4K monitor here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the information. And boom, yes, we are in 4K at 60 Hertz. And all appears to be, well, all appears to be good. Okay, so what do I think? Let's look at the pros. It's a trusted brand. Sabrent has been around a long time. I trust them. I own a lot of their products. Competitive price, it's about the same price as all the other lower cost docks. It has that all elusive USB-C port, which will definitely be a use case for somebody. No power is included, which is only a pro because it helps with the price. And it's custom fit for the deck. No spaces or gaps, which could be a con for you. So let's look at the cons. No ethernet port, that's a big one for me. I want every device I can uh, wired and not having an ethernet port is a no sale for me. The side USB ports make this thing longer than it is deep. Uh, the cables will look a little more unsightly. It's larger without having a lot of extras, right? With those no ethernet, no DP port, all that good stuff. Uh, it's bigger, but there's no extras like sticking an SSD drive in there. No power is included. If you need an extra power plug, you're not going to get it with this one. And then of course, last but not least, it is custom fit to the deck, meaning if you have a case or a skin, this is not the dock for you. Personally, I think most people would probably be better suited with the up to high six in one docking station for Steam Deck that has pretty much everything that I would personally want with the smaller size, with the ethernet port, and has everything outside of the USB-C port, and it's about the same price. Thanks again so much for watching. I'm Shane Monroe. As always, take care.